Boom, what's up you guys? Hey, wanted to come to you real quick about a new holster I've been rocking. Something that I have really, really been appreciating. As you guys know, the search for the perfect holster literally never ends. They're like, I don't know, they're like girlfriends. I don't know what to tell you. It's like, you know, you think you got one, you think it's perfect, you have a great time, you experience each other, you work together, you have some good times. And, and, and it's so awesome. And then all of a sudden, after a while, you know, you start noticing little things that you, you know, you know what you love about it, you like about it, but you notice little things you don't really like so much about it. And then like, before you know it, you start wondering like, can I do better? Anything you could do, I could do better. Ha! You know what I'm saying? <laughs> don't get mad at me anyways. So all I'm saying is, you know, I've been through a lot of holster as everyone who carries a gun for a living or a weapon with consequence or on or off duty, CCW or just in the line of duty. Uh, you all know what I'm saying is true. You've got a tub full of holsters and sometimes different holsters, different strokes, different folks, different days. Searching and finding the right holster is like searching and finding the right gun is like searching and finding the right mate. I don't know. Anyways, all I'm saying is the reality of this game is your holster is going to go through seasons. This is why I will always have videos about holsters um, and I just need you to Bruce Lee it. Absorb what's useful, disregard what's useless and add what is essentially your own because at the end of the day, you might love a holster today and be over it by tomorrow. You might love a holster tomorrow and and, and bring it back today, you know what I'm saying? So now what I'm rocking is the latest and greatest don't hate us because you ain't us. Excuse the angles here. Boom. McKintech. It's nice. I'm wearing a t-shirt. Boom. That's how I'm hanging out. Doesn't print. You know what I'm saying? But she's sitting right there. Always got the flashlight next to it. You guys already know that. Shout out to 511. Woo -hoo. Anyways, uh, best undies ever made. But I carry my weapon here and I carry my Surefire EDC light right there. Anyways, this isn't a video about EDC overall, but I just want you to see the actual holster at work. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm good. Uh, but, so, let's get to work here. Right? Clear. Right? Anyways, this is my baby. You guys know that. See me get to work with her all the time. Uh, McKintech, man. This is the latest hotness, in my opinion. Let me explain some features to you that I really like about it. You remember probably from one of my older holster videos, I was talking about tactical fuzz and uh, good Kydex, it holds its form. It's, when it comes to holsters, they if you don't know what you're looking for, they all look the same, they really do. But when you know what you're looking for, you notice the little things. So when I look at a holster and I notice this wider mouth up top here to help the weapon feed in and out, I'm liking what I'm seeing because that is what's going to assist your weapon going in and out of the holster. Not an uncommon trait, but a good holster should have a nice wide mouth for you to get your gear back in and out of, right? Um, I'm seeing this more and more this arm here, what this arm does is if you have a little bit of gut, like I got a little bit of gut still, you know what I'm saying? That's why I wear a shirt on Instagram still. Um, anyways, <laughs> but uh, this little arm pushes the holster back into your stomach. So the butt of the, of the weapon, right? We're still clear. So the butt of the weapon doesn't hang over your belt. So this little bad boy, Jimmy Jam right here keeps the weapon back behind your shirt line because it uses your belt to leverage it back into your stomach. Outstanding little little thing, detail I always look for on holsters. Now, now more and more these days, they're having them that shift a little bit. They move a little bit to keep dug into your belt as you go on with your day. A really good holster won't loosen up. It will not loosen up uh, 
I'm noticing a lot of holsters, as your belt shifts around and you move around, these little screws and everything, they want to loosen up. So you kind of really got to keep an eye on your holster because no one wants holsters to loosen up on you while you're trying to work with them, right? Because then your stuff starts falling apart. So the other uh, feature that I really like on this bad boy here is the, which I actually, I don't know if it's there, but I haven't seen it anywhere is this bad boy right here. This moves. So your weapon can actually move and you can cant your weapon and you can move it around while it's inside your um, pants. I really like that. I haven't found anything like that anywhere. Um, so I really dig that. And then obviously the adjustability, depending on how deep you wanna wear your gat or how much you want your gat to stick up to make sure you get a good purchase on that bad boy before you grip it and go to work. Uh, those little things really, really, for me, set this holster apart. Um, the other huge thing is I do, um, I do have a crush on black, multi-cam black, I do. Um, and what we have here is a genuine strip of multi-cam cam black um, covering this holster, which I find to be incredibly sexy. Um, just one of those things and uh, it also makes the holster way more comfortable because instead of having just the kydex up against your skin you have some some cloth you know so this is almost as good in my opinion almost just as good as tactical fuzz which I think is just phenomenal man and overall it's a simple piece of work but it's made well I didn't have to break it in a lot of times when I get a new holster right I uh, I oftentimes have to sit here and break it in. Uh, no, I got this holster, my, mag my, my weapon dropped right into it uh, the second I got it, and uh, I like mine to be loose because I get enough retention from my belt and my stomach. Um, not loose, but just a nice snug fit. And it's so far, it's been a fantastic piece of gear. It's been almost perfect. I'm really, really excited about this bad boy right here. Really, really digging it. So wanted to go on ahead and give you guys a shout out, give McKintech a shout out, just in case you guys are trying to look him up on Instagram or online. It's Mike Charlie Kilo India November Alpha Tango Echo Sierra holsters. Check these guys out, they're on IG. Uh, I spoke with them through IG initially. Awesome customer service, quick response time, quick turnaround on the holster. I got a human being that actually worked with me. He actually went and got the XC, uh, XC1, which is what I rock. Uh, on my CCW guns and actually made the mold, man. That's how good, that's how dedicated these guys are to customer service and getting you what you need as an end user. So that's rare and that's tight. So holster review, uh, McKintech is where it's at. You guys go check them out and uh, uh, it's a good holster. I'll see you on the next piece of content. Out.